Hi guys, uh, welcome to my first tutorial for the uh, editor for Nutgore. I'm going to show you a couple of things so you can get started. Um, the first thing I want to show you is uh, where you can put your graphics. It's in the dev content in the Nutgore folder. Um, then in the GRH folder uh, you can uh, split stuff in uh, separate subfolders. Uh, for SVO, we've chosen uh, to make a folder called Areas. And uh, there we've got several things such as uh, grass and ground and other stuff. Um, there's like, a couple of things you need to know. Uh, static graphics, uh, so no animations. Just go anywhere, you can uh, call them what you like. Um, for animations, uh, there is a specific format. You have to start the, the name with an underscore, and then the name, and then another underscore. Uh, frames, and then the speed. And you just put uh, different frames, called 1, 2, 3, or if you have more, just uh, go on. Um, yeah, that's about it for the for the for adding the graphics. Two other things you should know is uh, you can rename your files and uh, the editor will automatically pick up the change uh, and you can uh, move the files in other directions uh, directories but you can do both as the the editor will get confused and then uh, uh, yeah it, it won't really work so um okay then on to the editor i've already opened it so here's the editor, it's just a blank screen, but uh, once you open a map, so I'll just uh, open a simple map here, um, let's see, uh, just a simple test map will do. Okay, so here's the here's the map, you can uh, you see several buttons uh, such as save, save as, delete the map, it will automatically delete the file from your hard drive and the entry in the database. Um, this is the pro map properties. Uh, here you can uh, change several stuff, such as the ambient light, if it's indoors or not, the ID for the music. You can, uh, if you added music to the f to the music file, you can use it, you'll see them over here, and you can select them, of course. Uh, the name, the dimensions of the map, and then some other stuff related to the to the side scroller. Uh, stuff of the engine. A cool thing of the of the editor is you can drag it uh, oh, everywhere. So if you got a multi monitor setup, you can uh, have several uh, maps open and just uh, put them next to each other. So like this, you can drag them. You can also say one over there. Uh, it's pretty flexible. Um, what this is, I'm going to make it a little bigger. Um, this is a selectable map object. It'll change to uh, reflect what you're selecting. At the moment, uh, we've got uh, the entity cursor selected. Uh, this can uh, put, for example, uh, teleport entities. What you have to do is you have to right click and select the entity you want. Then select, okay. Then hold control and right click again. And, oh, hold control and right click, of course. And then uh, it will make uh, a teleport entity. And you, as you can see, you can uh, change its position, size, uh, and then the coordinates of the destination and the destination map. Um, of course, you can also just drag it and resize it like this. Uh, a cool thing is uh, you don't have to uh, select what type of entity you want each time. You can just hold control and right click again and then it will just select uh, the entity you lost used. So just select and hit delete if you want to delete it. Um, what's next? Uh, let's see. Ah, yes. Um, for the graphics, you uh, of course you've got uh, this uh, neat map graphic cursor. Uh, you can uh, for the side scroller you can define if it, if you want it to be on the foreground or or uh, also what depth it should be and uh, put in timeout. In the SVO editor we, uh, we changed it a bit 
because uh, in old editors uh, we use the a five layer system so two behind one automatic and uh, two above that's not really important right now okay next up is the GRH data the screen uh, will uh, where is it um, okay that's odd let's see okay press it doesn't want to load right now. Hmm. Well, anyway, weird. Uh, I'll just move on for a second. So when you have uh, this selected, you can uh, use Control to, for example, yeah. When you've got a map cur cursor selected, you can uh, select the graphics and move them around or reshape them a bit uh, the cool thing is if you hold shift it will uh, lock to the grid like this and if you uh, hold shift when res when uh, moving it will also lock to the grid if you want to change the grid you can toggle it or change its grid size over there um, another thing are the walls so this is uh, a wall for example you can move it around you can make it bigger um, to make a new one you just hit right right mouse button and it'll select create and select a new one and uh, there you go you can move it around put it where you like another feature um, which these graphics do not have is um, an auto uh, wall thing in the graphic editor where you can just say for example on on a stone like this I just always want a graph uh, a wall around this part um, uh, is there anything else I should say uh, graphics data doesn't want to open so I'm going to close and try again there we go yeah, it seems to be crashing every time. Nothing to worry about. So if you do not know where the editor is, you just compile your entire solution and go to uh, the demo game client folder. In the bin folder, you will find the demo game editor. You just boot it. it takes a second to boot. Um, there we go. So again, map load just select a map um, let's see the police office okay there we go you can just uh, when you've hit left mouse button on the map you can just use your arrow buttons to uh, move around um, let's see if the editor works now okay it doesn't seem to work <laughs> um that's really odd. Um Okay. I'll uh have to uh end this video right here and see what's going on then. Just uh another quick note about some of the buttons over here. Um you you can turn on the lights uh the light sources or and you can also make a uh, light curse light entities on the map uh, for SVO we didn't really use it but it might be handy for you um, here's a cool snapshot feature it, it saves a, a PNG or a bitmap I'm not sure a PNG I think uh, to the bin folder uh, so you've got an, a complete overview of the map and uh, this is uh, again something for the side scroller I'm not really familiar with the, the side scrolling feature, so I'm not going to go into detail. Um, this uh, button goes uh, does the NPC spawns. Uh, at the moment, there are no spawns over here, but you can easily uh, create a new one. Um, problem with this: uh, this this uh, editor still has a couple of uh, issues, so. Um, 
uh, yeah as you can see uh, there's no update button or anything so you have to uh, every time close the the window before you can uh, see the reflected update uh, you also have to manually enter the area you want it to spawn in and uh, select a character template ID uh, in another tutorial I'll show you how to make uh, templates character templates okay um, that's about it I'll show you how you can put maps next to each other like uh, you can just drag it and take it over there and then you can for example if you have two maps that connect you can put them next to each other okay these don't really connect but you get the point um one thing you should know is uh entities are not displayed when you've got the the wall entity or the cur the graphic entity cursor selected uh of course i mean the the map entity cursors uh, the map entities so only when you select this uh, arrow uh, the teleports will show themselves um, yeah for people who are going to use the SVO editor uh, here you can uh, if you toggle here you can toggle the layers so one and two are below the player three is the auto layer four and five are above the layer uh, above the player um, anything else and um, no I think that's about it yeah that's about it I'll show you the graphic data screen in uh, another part of the tutorial okay uh, as promised Here's the GRA data screen. Um, as you can see, it just shows uh, all the subfolders that are in the GRH folder in the dev content folder. Uh, a cool thing about Netgore is you don't have to manually um, add the references to the graphics. Uh, in VBGore, you had to manually type in uh, uh, stuff for every texture. Here, you can just right click and select it the automatic update function it'll scan the the entire graphics folder and uh, yeah, it takes a while for the SVO folder um, and it'll say how many uh, new graphics have been added look at that seven new graphics uh, okay um, uh, let's see for example in the misc we've got the trees and uh, if you double click uh, a graphic it'll open the graphic data editor here you can uh, see several st things like uh, the index the category the title if it's stationary or animated uh, you shouldn't normally have to change anything uh, on the screen uh, the size of uh, the graphic is automatic um, because you just uh, put one graphic in one PNG file and you just uh, clip it to the bounding box of the graphic. Uh, the bound walls is uh, an interesting thing. Uh, what I showed you earlier was uh, you could say um, every time you put a tree, uh, a tree in a mop, uh, in the old VB Gore you had to put a block thingy on the uh, the tree trunk but in Netgore you can uh, for example add a new uh, wall and every time you put a tree on the map it'll just uh, automatically put a wall onto it as well so you do not have to add a wall every time you add a new tree uh, yeah that you can do here so you can say uh, its coordinates and uh, how big it should be uh, the platform checkbox is for the side scroller so uh, you can uh, tell the engine if you want it if it should be a platform or not um, let's just cancel this 
I'll now show you how to put stuff on a map. I'll make a new map. Are you sure? Yes, I want to make sure. And uh, in this video editor, we changed it a bit. Usually, uh, normally, uh, in Netgore, the, the editor will just take the next available free ID, but uh, we like to make stuff organized. So uh, we added the option to select, uh, to uh, manually enter the ID. So I'll just uh, 5,000 over here for a second. So, okay. This is just an empty map now. Uh, when we go to the graphics stuff, we select the map cursor. We put it on layer two, for example. You select the the graphic you want. You then hold, hold control and it'll show up on the map. Just hold control and you left click. And as you can see, it'll, it automatically uh, put uh, a wall entity on the on the tree. Again, like in the other entities, when you hold shift and you move it around, it'll lock onto the grid. Um, other stuff you can see when you've selected a graphic, you can uh, still change on what layer it is and uh, some effects. I'm not sure what it is. For example, flip vertical. Of course, most of the stuff you won't need usually. Um, yeah, you can also define the scale or rotate it. Um, for the animations, it's it's just the same actually. Uh, no, this isn't ex really a good example, but no. hang on. Um, let's, uh, Take a waterfall. It's a better example. Um, falls. And for uh, the uh, the um, graphic for the animation is just one graphic in the in the tree. So you won't see uh, all the different frames uh, you have for the animation. Just uh, one entry, and when you edit onto a map for example like this it'll show you the animation and its different frames so that was it for the graphic adding and changing part of this tutorial